Hey Glam Squad, what's up? This is your girl Dalu. I hope you guys are doing great. In today's video, I am going to show you a few fun ways or technique to arrange your decorative towels to impress your guests at all time. I'm gonna start with this bath towel and we are going to fold it in three. Once we are done folding it in three, we're gonna fold it in half. I'm gonna turn it around to make sure everything tucks in neatly. I'm gonna leave it on the side for now and I'm gonna grab a wash towel. I'm gonna fold the wash towel in diagonal making a triangle. I'm gonna take the small towel and wrap it around the first half of the big towel. Then I'm gonna use a safety pin to secure the small towel in the back. You can use whatever you have. While I'm doing that, let me take this moment to welcome all of you who are new to my channel. Welcome to the Glam Squad family. I upload Glam Home Decor and DIY videos. If you like Glam Home Decor videos, please hit your subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so they can let you know as soon as I upload a new video. I'm gonna take the top layer of the small towel and fold it in half like in diagonal to make it more stylish. There it is on the towel bar, super beautiful. Also, a big, big thank you to all of you, my beloved and loyal Glam Squad. We just switched 50,000 subscribers. Yay! As promised, I have a present for you. Please stay tuned later this week to get more info on that. For the second look, I'm gonna start with another bath towel. This time, I'm using a white one. It has a little bit of design at the border. I'm gonna show that to you guys a little bit later. I bought all of these towels from Macy's Backstage. They are super pretty. Just like we did for the first one, we are folding it in three. When folding, you always have to make sure you keep smoothing it out. And then we're gonna fold it in half. That's all, now let's go to the bathroom. This is the design portion. I'm gonna turn it around to make sure the design is facing the back. I'm gonna use an elastic band to secure the two ends of the towel together. I'm gonna leave it there for now and I'm gonna take a wash towel and start making some accordion pleats. I try not to make them too small because when the towel is thick, it's very difficult for them to stay together, so I make them a little bit bigger. I'm going to hold it very tightly in the middle and fold it in half. And then I'm gonna place it on top of the bigger towel and have it secure with the elastic band that I had used earlier. Next, I'm gonna thin it out a little bit. I'm gonna use one of my Totally Dazzle brush to add some glam on the towel display and to cover the elastic band. These brushes are super pretty but very affordable. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box. 
Super duper beautiful and unique. I love this look. For the third look, I'm gonna use a hand towel to create the rose. For that, we're gonna start by folding it in half to make it square. Then I'm going to roll up one of the corners. Once I have that much towel left, I stack and then I'm going to flip it. And then I'm going to start to roll up one of the corners very tightly. Once I reach the end, I'm going to secure the end by putting it inside the wall up area of the towel. Then I'm going to open up the two layers at the bottom of the towel. There it is, it is such a fun and super cute way to roll up a hand towel. You can achieve the same look with a smaller wash towel. Let me show you how. This time, instead of folding it in half, we're gonna start by folding it in diagonal, making a triangle. And then we're gonna roll it up on the longer side. Once I have this much towel left, I'm gonna stop and turn it around just like I did with the other one. I'm gonna start rolling it up. Open up the layers at the bottom, we are done just like that. We have a very sexy, beautiful rose. Yes, Glim Squad, please leave a comment below. Let me know which one was your favorite. Was it number one, number two, or number three? I thank you for stopping by today, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Please do not leave without hitting your subscribe button, turning on the notification bell. I love you always. Bye-bye.